Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna go over how you can use gesso to cover up a painting that maybe didn't make the cut or that you wanna paint over. Let's go. I'm gonna show you how you can save money by not buying additional canvases and substrates just by simply using this. So what is gesso? Gesso is very similar to white acrylic paint, except it's only thinner. It's comprised of a combination of paint pigment, chalk, and binder. Before we get started, we have to find a couple good candidates to get gessoed. Take a peek in your studio and look around your graveyard, so to speak, to find paintings that would qualify to be gessoed. First, to get started, we wanna make sure that we have all the materials. So this is a painting, never really finished it. So this is one that is a prime candidate. We have uh, our brush. This is just a Mandalay brush um, that I use a lot for gessoing. Um, it's super wide. I really like that this is about six inches right here. So when you're making your brush strokes, it's much easier to cover the canvas, especially when you're working with a large canvas. Then, of course, we have our gesso, which is the hero of everything. The way that I usually get started is you want to shake the gesso. Start with a little bit of a pattern like so. And then you just want to take your brush and just slowly but surely brush over. And when you start to see it getting kind of dry, like right in here, that's a good indication that you don't have enough gesso on your brush, which is no problem. You just add some more in, just like so. So you really wanna cover everything, because keep in mind, this is you starting over, right? This is a blank slate. Say la vie to the painting that was and breathing life into the painting that will be. So then I just like to do some pulls really quickly. Sometimes when you lay your first layer down, depending on the undercolor coat of, of what's actually underneath the canvas, you might get a little bit of bleed through. I'll try to show you here, for example, you can kind of see a little bit of um, the pink kind of showing through, and that's okay. Uh, doesn't mean that you did anything wrong, just means that you might need to potentially let this dry, and if that really bothers you and you wanna start with a, make this completely white, you would just want to let everything dry completely and come back over with a second coat. That's pretty much how to gesso a painting in a nutshell. So let's do a few more. Okay, so this is a fun one. We're gonna hit this one with some additional gesso. So again, the steps, just give it a good shake and create some little swirls here and just Make some pulls. Push and pull a little bit. All right. All right, and there you have it. Just as good as new. And you just, once again, you wanna let this completely dry and then it can be painted again. Here's another painting. Because you never really want to throw a painting away. If at all possible, reuse these things and, and be resourceful with some of your work. If it no longer serves you or maybe your style has changed or you've simply run out of things to paint on, gesso is a, a great solution. Another quick shake and we just want to make some swirly swirls. But something really important for those of you that paint with oils um, if you were to paint on, let's say, a wood board, for example, or um, some sort of, you know, manufactured board that is somewhat porous, you really need to be gessoing on top of that to create a nice barrier 
so that the oils and the oil paint over time don't end up um, seeping into that board or that wood um, and kind of pulling away from the painting. So just one thing to consider. And uh, once again, we'll leave this to dry and you wanna come back in a few hours or potentially the next day and voila, now you have brand new materials that you can go and paint on and uh, turn what would have been something that could have ended up in the trash into a newfound surface for you to paint on. In closing, gesso can be extremely valuable to you as an artist. Whether you're using it to add additional texture to paintings, to cover up ripped paintings, or just painting over paintings that you're not happy with. It's extremely valuable and I highly recommend it. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.